Short answer is alt, up and down. Long answer. Good, hello, welcome to Onion Skin. A very common question for a lot of animation and rigging is how can you have something change layers mid movement? Although 2D animation is flat, it doesn't mean the characters exist in a completely flat universe. This character can walk along and then go behind this rock, but we're limited by software, right? The layers are strict. The rock layer is on the bottom, the person layer is on top. How can it change to go behind without, you know, like we could change the layers, but that, that's, that's permanent. How can it be dynamic and on the fly? Another example, in rigs and things, this character has two arms. They are on their own layers. That's fine for this front view, but from a three quarter view, everything is still set up on the same layer hierarchy. But this arm here, I want it to be behind the body now. That looks a lot better, but it breaks continuity with this one. It doesn't look completely in front anymore. Only if both of them were behind, that might work. But back, well, now this is a different problem. They need to have a different layering option depending on their pose. These two issues are the same problem with the same solution. This is how Harmony does it. The solution is three dimensional space, Z space more specifically. X is left and right, Y is up and down, and Z is forwards and backwards. If I change from the camera view to the perspective view, I can look at this scene in full three dimensional space. The order that these colored circles are currently stacked is depending on their layer order. But if I manipulate three dimensional space, I can override this order by bringing the green one physically forwards. It of course is going to be laid in front of everything else. If I push it backwards, it's going to appear behind. The solution to our problem is an exploit of this feature. If I choose any one of these circles, say the yellow one, and I press Alt on the keyboard and press up, the yellow circle is pushed backwards an infinitesimal amount. If we open the parameters of the yellow circle, we can see on position Z it has gone back negative 0.001 units. That is incredibly small, but of course in a perfectly flat universe, that's enough to override the order of the layers. Likewise, if I hold Alt and press down, that's going to pull it physically forwards. Notice now each time I press it, it is moving 0.00 something units. I can restack everything completely on the fly using this. This is a powerful feature, but one you must be careful with, one you must take responsibility for, because think about it. If you reshuffle all of your layers in three-dimensional space too much and your layers basically mean nothing anymore, it's going to start to get very confusing as to how things are truly layered. This magenta one is now quite radically far in front of the yellow one, 0.006 now. A healthy way to manage and keep on top of this is to go to Windows and choose Top. This is what the top view looks like. This triangle here is the camera. This is what we're seeing. And this line is, is all of our layers stacked up on top of each other. It's the same as perspective view, looking straight down. Although without the perspective. If I select any one of these layers, you'll start to notice a piece of it starting to highlight. Anything on the left here, ah, that's starting to light up there on the left. These ones on the right, they're starting to light up to the right. This is literally the same image, but seen from above. And because things are laid in three dimensional space backwards, but just really, really small, we can use this to our advantage. Zoom all the way in, and we can start to see the physical three dimensional separations. This magenta one, which is right out in front, now we can see just how far in front it is. Pressing Alt up and down, we can see that three dimensional movement taking place. You might also notice something else happening on the left of the top view. We get a handy little cheat sheet of three dimensional ordering. As I move this from the, from the back, it is at the top, and moving it to the front, it appears at the bottom. 
It's not just an image reference either. We can literally select things here. So pressing on the red one, there we go. That's exactly where it is. And now I can reorder its layering with Alt up and down there. Let's see it in practice on this guy who wants to go hiding behind a rock. At the moment, they are both on Z space level zero. So the order that they are stacked upon is basically not relevant. It appears below, you know, it's got to go somewhere. Zero is zero. I'm going to keyframe and animate the character moving out into the open. There we go, sliding across. I'm going to put another keyframe just afterwards where I press Alt up. Notice he is now pushed to the background. So when I keyframe and have him move back again, he can now move behind the rock. Final example on setting up this rig. It's exactly the same story. Arm right, I'll select that. Alt down, now it's in front. The other arm, Alt down, now it's in front as well. This one from here, I want it to be at the back. Back it goes. It's healthy to have everything keyframed for setting up rigs. So everything is guaranteed to be locked in the correct position at the correct time. Notice once again, as things get relayed up here and here. Alternatively to the top view, there is also a side view. Same diagrams, all good ways to get a visual aid on the structure and hierarchy of your project. Not an obvious solution, but thankfully an efficient and effective one. I hope this helps. Working files available to the patrons as always, and a big thanks to them, of course, for their support in keeping this channel running. This video topic is a direct result to having been asked it quite a number of times recently by different people. So if you're struggling with anything in particular in Harmony, be sure to communicate it to me, whether it be in the comments section here, on Twitter, personal email, doesn't really matter. The more pressing of an issue something seems to be, the more I'll prioritize it and get it released as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, have a good week.